Our subject for today is health for P1 or Pratom 1. But before we answer your unit test in your health book, let's have a review first of our lesson. Last time, I discussed to you about the different external parts of the body. Can you still remember them? As you can see here, this is an example of a human body. Now, let's try to name them one by one. First, this is the human ear. So, we have two ears. We use them to hear sound and music. Another part of the body is our arm. We use our arm when you are holding things together with your hands and fingers. On the lower part of your body is your two legs. Going upper, we have head and hair. Another one we use for seeing is our eyes. In the middle of your face, you use this to smell flowers or food. This is our nose. We use this one when we are eating or speaking. And this is our mouth and teeth. And on the lower part, we have your two feet. So these are the different parts of the body. Now, on page 25, number 5 is, imagine how humans in the future might look like. And then, draw and color a picture below. For example, in the future, the human might look like having a third eye. So, this is an example of a drawing that that you have imagined how humans might look like in the future you can draw any another example is in the future the human might look like small and the other one is tall or big or a giant human you can draw this one And the last one is, humans or babies can have their wings. First, have a third eye, small or big human. You can draw this one. Or you can draw a baby having a wings. Another example is, you can draw a person that is having two heads. Another one having two or three arms. Have you seen a human having three arms? Or just like this one, have you seen a human having three eyes? So this is an example. You can draw any or you can choose one from this picture. One only and then you need to color it after once again imagine how humans in the future might look like you can draw one from here or you can draw your own example on page 25 still number six you put a check in the circle next to the sentence that summarizes how to take care of your external organs correctly. First, 
taking care of your organs correctly will make us look beautiful. Is this correct? If you take care of your organs or parts of the body, you will look beautiful. Or the other one, taking care of your organs correctly will help the organs work and functions effectively. So the answer is the second one. Put one check only. This time on page 26, darken the circle in front of the correct answer. Darken it using your pencil. Number one question is, when you can see, what do you use to see things? When you can see a red clock and hear a tick tock sound, what organs do you use? What organs do you use to see and hear? See and hear. Letter A. Eyes and ears. Do you use your eyes to see? Do you use your ears to hear sound? Letter B. Mouth and hands. Do you use your mouth to see? Do you use your hands to hear? Or letter C. Eyes and nose. Do you smell the clock? Again. C and hear. Letter A, eyes and ear. Letter B, mouth and hand. Letter C, eyes and nose. For example, what is the answer? So the answer in number one is letter A. So shade your answer. This time you answer number 2 until number 10. Number 2 question is, what organ do you use to see the book you are reading? What organ do you use to see the book you are reading? Letter A, ears. Letter B, eyes. Letter C, nose. Used to see, see. Letter A, ears. Letter B, eyes. Or letter C, nose. Number three. Which of the following relates to nose? Nose. Letter A. The flower smells so nice. Do you use your nose to smell? Letter B. The baby is crying so loud. Do you use your nose when you cry? Or letter C. The doll is so soft. Do you use your nose to touch the doll? Now let's go to number four. Which parts of the body help us stand? Which parts of the body help us stand? Letter A. Head. Do you use your head when you are standing? Letter B. Hands and fingers. Do you use your hands and fingers when you are standing? Or letter C. Feet and toes. Letter A. Head. Letter B. Hands and fingers. Or letter C, feet and toes.
In number six, which of the following shows how to take care of your teeth after eating? Which of the following shows how to take care of your teeth after eating? Letter A. Brushing your teeth. Letter B. Chewing gum. Or letter C. Eating candy. What will you do after eating? When you are finished eating. Letter A. Brush your teeth. Letter B. Chew a gum. Or letter C. Eat candy. Number 7. If you feel itchy on your head and your hair is dirty, what will you do? If you feel itchy on your head and your hair is dirty, what will you do with your hair? Letter A. You comb your hair or brush your hair. Letter B. Put some olive oil on your hair. Or letter C. Wash your hair with shampoo. Letter A. Brush your hair or comb your hair. Letter B. Put olive oil on your hair. Or letter C. Wash your hair with shampoo. Number 8. How is keeping your nails short beneficial to you? How is keeping your nails short beneficial to you? What will happen if your nails are short? Letter A. Your nails look beautiful. Letter B. Your nails are clean. Or letter C. It will make your nails grow faster. Why do you need to cut your nails? Letter A. Your nails look beautiful. Letter B. Your nails are clean. Or letter C, it will make your nails grow faster. Number 9. What should you do before you pick up fruit and eat it? What should you do before you pick up fruit and eat the fruit? Letter A. Wash your hands. Letter B. Wipe your hands with clean fabric. Or letter C. Cut your nails. What will you do with your hands before you eat the fruit? Or before you hold the fruit? Letter A. Wash your hands. Letter B. Wipe your hands with clean fabric. Or letter C. Cut your nails. In number 10. If you do not take care of your body, what will happen? If you do not take care of your body, what will happen? Letter A. Your body will smell fresh. Letter B. Your body will be dirty. Or letter C. Your body will be clean. If you do not take a bath, what will happen to your body? Letter A. Your body will smell fresh. 
Letter B, your body will be dirty. Or letter C, your body will be clean. We will be having another topic next meeting. Thank you everyone for listening. And don't forget to like, subscribe to the PBW channel. Bye!